Let's balance this equation. HNO2 plus O2 yields HNO3. That's nitrous acid plus oxygen, giving us nitric acid. Very useful reaction. We'll start. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. Hydrogen, I have one. Nitrogen, there's one of those. And then oxygen, I have two right here. But I've got to add these two over here on the O2. That gives me four oxygen atoms on the reactant side. Over on the product side, hydrogen one, nitrogen one, and oxygen, there are three. Whenever I have an odd number of oxygens, I like to get those to be even. So my strategy for this, this equation is gonna be get this to an even number, and then I'm gonna leave this O2 until last. So to get this to an even number, I'm gonna put a two, coefficient of two in front of the HNO3, and three times two, that gives me six. So now I have six oxygens here and four here. It's a little bit better. Let's update our hydrogens and nitrogens. So I have nitrogens one times two. I have two of those and hydrogens one times two, two hydrogens. Back over on the product side, we said we're gonna leave the oxygen here until last. We need six total oxygens. What if we put our two here? So two times two, that's four plus the two right here, that gives us six. And that fixes the oxygens for this equation. We'll go back and update the nitrogen and hydrogen now. So we have one times two, that equals two, and hydrogens one times two, that equals two. So actually this equation is balanced. We're done with this. The trick here was to first, we had this odd number of oxygens. We got that to an even number. Then we left this oxygen here, the O2, until last, and everything seemed to work out pretty well. So now everything on both sides of the equation is equal. We're obeying the law of conservation of mass, and the equation HNO2 plus O2 yields HNO3 is balanced. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.